Welcome back to Freeze Easy Peak. Last time, if you remember, we lit up a Christmas tree. Now we're gonna head inside, see what we can get for it. We already got a um, Mumbo token just here lying around. Oh well. <laughs> I'm not gonna complain about an easy Mumbo token, especially since uh, starting with this world, some of uh, some of them start being rather well hidden. Okay, so here we got a present. If you remember, uh, Boggy's children from the last video, they uh, were sad because they, uh, they didn't get any presents from their father. So we got to hunt down some presents for them. And we got, uh, I believe, 12 notes right off the bat here. So you really, really want to light up that tree and then come in here to uh, get your rewards. I'm just going to refill my red feathers a bit, especially since we're going to use them a lot in this world. And I do mean a lot. And our prize, as we saw in the last video, is a Jiggy, our first for this world. So let's head, let's head back down there. I'm trying to free fall because it's not, I'm not going to take any damage if I free fall to another area, but uh, it doesn't really matter. Now! I know you guys love this when you when you watch uh, LPRs that suffer. So, well, the time has come. I am going to suffer a lot for your enjoyment because we're going to be taking to the skies in an aerial battle against those snowmen, which are named Sir Slushes. Sir Sir Slush would be the singular, but yeah, the, uh, as you can see right now, I'm actually doing sort of well so far and. With that, I just jinxed it, didn't I? Uh -oh. Of course! Let's Players Curse in action! So, uh, as you saw, uh, you're supposed to try doing a beat bomb and... Oh! Will you just stop shooting at me? I'm just trying to get up there! And apparently this has got to be a precise jump and... Dear Lord! No, 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 no! Don't fall! Don't fall! Don't fall! Oh, uh, let's get back up. I'm slipping all over the place. Ice! Uh, okay, fine. I'm gonna use Kazooie for this. Oh, ew! The chimney protected me there. These guys are really annoying. And uh, as you just saw in my last attempt to kill this uh, snowman over at the left of the screen, um. Oh yeah, and by the way, they can say they can catch you in midair too. I, I I would uh, I would bet that at some point during uh, early design, uh, if you got knocked uh, over by a, by a snowball, Arr! good fucking lord, stop moving while I'm trying to kill you! But yeah, I, I would imagine that uh, you fell all the way to the ground in early design, and they thought, you know, maybe let's show some mercy towards the player and just. You know, uh, key, keep them in the sky so they don't have to go all the way back to another um, another flight pad. Anyway, I'm a bit low on energy right now, so um, I'm gonna kill. I'm killing a beehive to try and uh, take some honeycombs off of it, and hopefully that's gonna be enough because we still have a few more of these suckers to take down. So, that's, so as I was trying to say, their weak point is their hat. But they like to move around a lot while firing off their uh, snowballs, so they're rather easy to miss. On top of that, the beak bomb is hardly what you'd call a precise attack. Like that! There is very little room for error, especially on targets as small as these hats. Now these hats... STOP SHOOTING AT ME! Jeez! But, yeah, those hats seem huge at first, but it, you, you, you've never done this part if you think, oh, this looks easy, and I'm almost dead. Just like that, I'm almost dead, and I still got a few more of these to take down, so I'm going to try and get all the way back to a flight pad. I'm going to keep these for later, because uh, I don't want to get disoriented in my... Uh, exploration run that I'm going to do later once I'm done KILLING THOSE SNOWMEN! Good lord! And there's always a point in a, in a platforming let's play where the going gets a lot tougher and uh, progress slows down a lot. I think we may be reaching that point here. Five minutes into this video and I've hardly accomplished anything yet. STILL KILLING THOSE SNOWMEN! 
Ah, oh, okay. Let's try killing this one again. BAM! It, the, the fact that it's so easy to miss make, makes things... It, it makes this a lot more pleasurable when you actually connect. So, let's see now. Yes! I believe this was the last one. Yep, because you get a, a jiggy for that. And even if you didn't, uh, there are still mumbo tokens and a witch switch and stuff to get for killing those snowmen that are, you know, buried under the snowman. So, I'm just going to... Uh, oh, um... Apparently, uh... Apparently I triggered something during the battle that I probably shouldn't have. Anyway, what we heard just now, it's... Uh, that guy over there. Meet Wadza the Walrus, who is deathly afraid of bears. Which makes sense, because bears are uh, natural predators for walruses. And apparently he's using the if-I-can't-see-it-it-doesn't-exist approach. Which doesn't do much for it, but it doesn't do much for us either, because we can't get into its lair. And whenever, whenever we try getting close, as you can see, um, it, it, it just runs away to the entrance of its cave. So we're going to have to take care of this a little bit later, when we're better equipped to deal with the situation. Yeah, yeah, run away. I don't care about you for now. So, um just going to grab uh, this uh, feather here. Very important to uh, uh, keep a decent stock of feathers, especially in this world. We're not done flying around just yet. So, uh, this, yeah, this is very... Whoa! Hello, graphical glitch there! Probably uh, an emulation glitch of some sort. I've never seen this in an actual copy of the game. But anyway, uh... The, this just opened a door uh, back uh, near the entrance to Freeze Easy Peak, and uh, yeah, uh, something that I should mention that uh, we already saw earlier on is that uh, uh, the cold water in this area will hurt you, uh, and we even get told by the water itself that cold water hurts. That's right, everything speaks in this game, even water! No joke! So I believe I got everything uh, from uh, around the legs of the giant snowman. So I can just head over there, grab, the, I think it's the second gift, yep. So now that we're done killing all those sir slushes, we are good to climb uh, the snowman itself. Uh, first, I'm just going to replenish my energy, killing those... Ow! Killing those ice cubes if I don't die first. Okay, we're okay, so... It's, it, it's a rain of honeycombs! And yeah, from almost dead to full in five seconds. I always love when that happens. So on the scar for the snowman, you can see that notes and the red feathers alternate between each other. I'm going to uh, get to 50 feathers, and then I'm going to try not to grab any of the rest, because... Uh, there's gonna, there are going to be some more uh, things we need flying around for, so it's always a good idea to... Uh, oops, sorry about that. But it's always a good idea to uh, avoid uh, overfilling uh, your uh, your supplies. It's a bit uh, less major in Banjo-Tooie since uh, uh, it's a lot easier to fill, uh, uh, to fill your supplies of eggs and feathers. But in this game, you got to watch it a little bit. So, yeah, I'm, I'm not even trying to avoid the red feathers uh, in this area because, um, well, it's just so narrow I don't want to risk falling off at this point. So, let's head up there. Ow! <laughs> now, let's try this again, and um, right in there, there should be something. Oh, it's a Jiggy! I expected a Mumbo token, but it's actually a Jiggy! Pretty cool! So, now I'm gonna, just gonna head back up there and use this shock spring pad, and it's the last present already! So we're gonna be done with that little side quest as soon as I stop sucking and get on the snowman's nose! That's a freaking giant carrot, by the way. I wonder where the, where the hell it was grown. Ah, the wonders of genetics. Uh, and there we go, we got all three uh, presents. So, now I believe... I'm... First things first, I'm gonna head to the top of, uh... 
the the snowman's hat because as you just as you saw earlier on when I killed the last sir slush there was a jiggy that appeared up there and there are a few notes the jiggy is guarded by an ice cube not difficult at all if you just spam the rat attach wrap like crazy and here we go we got another jiggy which is only our third! We already spent a while in, in, in this level and we still only have three Jiggies. As I said, progress is going to slow down a lot from here on in. So while uh, the numbers may point at us being halfway through the game, that is far from the case. Let's just get those last few notes, be careful not to fall. Okay. And now, what I want to do, I want to head back to the flight pad that's on the snowman's nose, because I believe there's something on top of the broom over there. And so I'm just going to go and check it out, if you don't mind, and... No, no, I don't want to land on that! Get away! Get away! Okay, okay, we're good. So, oh, I was right, there's actually a Jinjo there, along with a few gold feathers. So, found a Jinjo that uh, I probably would have completely forgotten about had I not noticed the, the broom itself. So now we're done for now, you know, climbing that uh, snowman, so I'm going to try and get on that sled. Oh, <laughs> I fell off, but it still counts as staying in. Mumbo token, and I land right on, on top of Boggy, who... Pukes a Jiggy! So, um, yeah, as, as we saw in the last video, he actually ate a Jiggy. This is the only way uh, that we can actually get it back. You can't uh, ground pound on him or anything. And, um, thank, thank God, thank God we didn't learn, we, do, we don't learn the build drill in this game. Otherwise, if we try doing that, it might get a little messy, if you catch what I'm saying. But, uh, anyway, now that we're in the area near the entrance, it would be a good idea to, uh, give the presents, uh, to Boggy's children, since apparently, even when he's cured, Boggy is such a jerk, he doesn't give a crap about his children! He, no, he prefers to race on sleds all day. Just a question, if you're not gonna take care of your children, why make them? Three on top of that, not one, not two, three! You're a horrible father, Boggy! Anyway, we got another Jiggy for our troubles. So, here we go now. There are a few other things left to do before we uh, head over to Mumbo's for the mandatory transformation. So I'm, I'm gonna head over to the village area we caught a few glimpses of while it was uh, fighting the, the Sir Slushes. Actually, we caught more than a glimpse of it because I got my ass kicked in that area trying to climb up to the to to the flight pad. And up there, what do we got? Oh, it's uh, the starting point of uh, Boggy's races. Now we can't do that right now because uh, for the first race we need uh, Mumbo's transformation in order to be able to even uh, participate in the race. So yeah, you're too big for my sled. Although, the tra the, this world's transformation is a walrus, and I would imagine that uh, the walrus would have, probably have some problems being supported by that sled, but... Oh well, I'm not the one making the game, and I'm just not even gonna try nitpicking at that anymore. So, hidden, hidden Mumbo Token! Awesome! Hidden by the honeycomb. I think it's the second to last one in this entire world, which is actually pretty cool. We're actually doing some, 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 some sort of progress, I'd say, now. Uh, now, over there... Uh, is there something there, or have, I, or have I already grabbed it? Okay, I see the egg over there, so I, I already grabbed whatever was there. I, I, w I was sort of wondering, because, uh, as I said before, this game can sometimes have some serious draw distance issues. So, over there, I believe we have an extra honeycomb piece. All right. Very good. And by the way, uh, those uh, those notes in in the in the frozen water, you don't want to go there as a, as a barren bird. You you, you want to wait for the walrus transformation in order to take as little damage as possible. So, uh, we're gonna be done for today, so shut up, Jinjo! I'm gonna get to you later! Anyway, we're gonna finish off everything we have to do with that giant snowman and GET UP!
there! Okay, thank you. Goodbye.